yeah, everything just feels really good and I wanted to get a really good start. He seems to be uh, reading the waves really well, and um, he's on fire, and uh, he just looks really com uh, comfortable out here. Fanny's just gone absolutely mental on the waves, so uh, anything can still happen when you've got Mick Fanning in the heat. Mick looked like he was on the ropes, and... Um, he just dropped two nines in four minutes. It's unbelievable comeback and, you know, just shows how determined he is and how focused, you know, and he wants it just as bad as everyone out there. I put money on it that that's going to be the, the heat of the year. I haven't had a final with B before, so uh, and good mates with him, so it, it should be really fun out there. I think this time it's a little bit different, you know. Um, last time I was just coming off an injury and it was just a huge relief where this year, you know, I'm really focused. I really believe I can take that world title. Just going to not take it so seriously, just stay a little bit more relaxed and just enjoy it a lot more. Doctor threw my window pane. Nobody left, nobody came. Lazy days. He's, he's not little anymore. <laughs> he's so, he's freaking growing into a... You know, he's just a real big, fit boy now, but he used to be little. He used to rip. He shakes your boards. Darren Hanley. Yeah, he shapes good boards. Yeah, he shapes good boards. There was a movie he did when he was a young kid, and he was already starting to look like a star. I did see Mick Fanning surf on film in a couple of videos. There were two or three waves of him at Kira, and they sort of really struck me. I saw him come down to Bells and surf in the Australian Junior Championships. I was just sort of struck by his, his raw speed and raw power. You know, he didn't have it quite all linked together yet, but I could see something special there. And in addition to that, I saw him surf, free surfing at Winky Pop, free surfing at Bells. A little while later, I happened to be on the Gold Coast, saw him surf live at Kira. So all of that in a short time frame, and, you know, it had quite a marked effect on me. I come home from school and I got this phone call and they're like, oh, we want to offer you this. I'm like, nah, this ain't right. 
this is, someone's playing a trick. He was kind of in the pack, you know, obviously there was already a bit of a talk about the Curly Kids by this point. He just had a, you know, a slightly different style, kind of hunched over a little bit, and Claw got excited watching him, it was funny. By moving over to Rip Curl, he became the number one surfer, and all their resources went into him. Sort of shoot by shoot, I'd take an interest and take a bit of a look at the footage of the still shots, and you could really just see the growing and maturing and refining of this raw energy. It was on its way. <laughs>